A week before the lockdown, a friend of mine's dad moved in with her to recover from a minor operation. Her sister also moved in to give a helping hand. Lockdown came and both of them were stuck there. Fast forward a month and my friend is going crazy. Now our friendship goes back to the days when I used to be a priest, so she reached out for some help. And I shared with her a technique called the last time. Now, this technique dates back to the time of ancient Roman and Greek philosophers from the school of Stoicism. Don't leave just yet, because the Stoics were actually very cool. They, their goal was to figure out how to live the good life, how to live well. And they were very practical in their approach. And they had this technique called the last time. And this is how it works. Imagine Diapers. You're a parent and you've got diapers to change. Probably not the highlight of your day. It certainly wasn't mine when our girl was a baby. However, there will come a time when you will change the last diaper. How do you want that experience to be? Now, the tricky thing is, we never know when the last time is actually going to be. And this realization can help us go through a situation in a better way. The Stoics use this technique to deal with tedious tasks, but also with stressful situations. And this was the technique that I shared with my friend. I told her, listen, this might actually be the last time that you get access to your dad and to your sister in such an intimate and even authentic way. Now, it doesn't mean it's going to be fun. It doesn't mean you're going to fix everything. But this realization that this might be the last chance that you get to be with them in this way might help you through it. I've been using this technique during lockdown. Our daughter is doing a fantastic job. Today was the first day that she went outside after six weeks. I can't say that I've always been doing a great job. I sometimes freak out. And in those moments, I remind myself that this might be the last time that I get to be with my daughter in this way, with so much time and with so, in so much intimacy. She's not going to be daddy's girl forever. And this might be the last time that I get to share and create memorable experiences with her. This has helped me, and that's why I'm sharing it with you and asking you, what is it about your experience that might be the last time? What aspects might be the last time that you get to live? And how can that help you experience it in a better way? Stay strong.